Quantic Dream offered something very unique during the PlayStation 3's life cycle with Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, a pair of games utilizing quick time events as the basis of its gameplay while attempting to tell profound stories usually involving murder, featuring twists of plenty and plot holes. Though rough around the edges from a gameplay perspective, and obvious flaws in terms of storytelling. Heavy Rain proved to be one of the most celebrated games in the PS3 library. While its successor gained more praise in pushing for the PS3's graphical capabilities, gaming's 8th generation saw Quantic Dream produce another visually awe-inspiring game full of branching narrative paths in a sci-fi, somewhat dystopian world, Detroit Become Human. Learning both firsthand with Heavy Rain and Beyond, and by watching the fallout of Detroit, developer Interior Knight, headed by former Quantic Dream creative director Caroline Marshall, wanted to create an experience unlike any other in the genre thanks to a unique art style, sprawling story in terms of years, and multiplayer options. Thanks to the power of the Game Pass service, I downloaded As Dusk Falls to see if it could live up to its predecessors or even exceed them. Witnessed in many point-and-click adventures before it, As Dusk Falls provides many decisions for the player to choose both minuscule and life-altering. And really that's it. The presentation is that of a visual graphic novel where dialogue choices are the foundation and stuff like exploring for collectibles doesn't exist. What makes Falls so expansive in terms of completion is the branching plot. After each chapter or through the main menu, Players can not only see their choices up to that point, accompanied by global percentages showing the amount of players who too entered a particular route, but also unfilled sections that expresses the paths not taken after a little over 6 hours, with each chapter taking about an hour to finish. I completed my first playthrough while picking up a bunch of achievements, including quite a few currently rare ones where the story took some interesting turns. The flowchart encouraged yours truly to plan another playthrough or more following a shocking cliffhanger that concluded the narrative, as well as the potential of full achievement completion. As dusk falls starts off vague enough with a young woman floating in a body of water, given an inner monologue that the player can hear. Flashes of a time long past evolves into the sprawling account of a terrible night in 1998 where Vince Walker's family got caught in the middle of a small Arizona town robbery gone wrong during their road trip to St. Louis. The player's choices not only changed the various outcomes of all the playable characters, including a young high school dropout Jay Holt and a pushover of a motel worker Paul Hayes. The voice actors, both large and small, do a mostly masterful job in adding a level of believability and humanity to their avatars. It is through the game's overall storytelling and narrative paths that really keeps one coming back for more because the gameplay is as bare bones as possible, even in a genre rooted in minimalistic gameplay. The quick time events that are associated with every action sequence usually boils down to one of four options. Rotate the analog stick, mouse, or tablet, or smartphone. Swipe left, right, up, or down. Tap the action or confirmation button, in the case of an Xbox controller, the A button, or rapidly mash that same action button. There are several scenes where the player can move the cursor around to discover particular points of interest like a hiding spot. Unfortunately, due to the game's art style, some of the hectic moments usually associated with these QTEs is lost because of the rather static presentation. Though the gameplay is particularly uninspired, the level of choice definitely isn't. One of the biggest issues with games in this genre is a lacking of true dialogue options, where it feels like two choices actually have two different results. A small choice like Vincent trying to crack a joke to lower the tension may be both referenced later by another character in a dire situation and change the attitude between the walkers and their captors. The hundreds of choices provided are well thought out, have some impressive weight even when not expected, and definitely encourages at least two playthroughs. One of those playthroughs may be alongside others as a big hook in terms of gameplay is the ability to add up to seven players alongside the original player. Instead of using the Supermassive Games' multiplayer formula where players pick certain characters to control and make decisions for, Interior Knight utilizes a voting system 
where the group is in control of every choice. There are also implementations like vetoes, known as overrides, to eliminate a particular player's choice. With a variety of playable options in terms of multiplayer, including using controllers, a phone, or a keyboard and mouse, as well as both locally and or online, Falls is arguably the most party-centric game in the genre to date. Technically, as Dusk Falls has some big problems, including frame rate drops between motion images, especially late in the story. The UI and general cursor movement can be sluggish, even after making adjustments in the menu. And most importantly, during QTEs, rotation movements struggle to register. Accessibility is a strong point in the game when it functions properly with a variety of options to help anyone who wants to experience this one can. Starting a multiplayer game online can be a tad frustrating with the host having to re-add players by sending out code specific invites between chapters before adding every playable profile each time. The audio must be commended including licensed music that can be turned off via broadcast mode and a harrowing soundtrack in general. As Dusk Falls doesn't necessarily reinvent the wheel, but worked hard to perfect certain aspects like efficient dialogue choice options, relatable characters, consistent tension even during flashbacks, other games in the genre have fallen short in accomplishing before it, making it one of the most enjoyable digital dramas seen in years. As Dusk Falls delivers on providing a memorable narrative experience, mostly thanks to some great voice acting and characterization, but has less gameplay than expected. The multiplayer options are interesting and actually works when getting a lobby started. The art style may not be for everyone, and there is definitely some technical issues that can ruin someone's intended decision. The biggest negative in terms of playing Falls is the asking price. At $30 US, Falls may come across as a bit steep in terms of price. Thankfully, it is on Game Pass, and if the first couple of chapters catch you, there's no reason not to support the developers. No matter if you're playing it on Game Pass or putting down dollars to own it forever, be ready to make some quick decisions and don't think about the pizza you'll never eat. Oh, shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. You know, Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. There's this girl I got it's my eye here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. 